Please welcome my friend, Joel McHale. Oh, thank you, spare bedroom. Thank you. <laughs> this is so nice of you. Drew, you look amazing, and you're dressed kind of like post-St. Patrick's Day um, chic. That's exactly right. Happy post-St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, are you Irish? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, it's been a minute since we've seen each other, and I was giggling with delight at you and your teenage boys. And yeah. I just was so excited that your boys, like, did they get the funny gene? I heard they're sarcastic, Edward and Isaac. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, my, when they were born, when the first one was born, now he's 16, my dad, who I gave endless amounts of crap to, uh, he was just like, you are in for it. <laughs> and, uh, and he wasn't joking. So like, they'll, they'll watch like community. Thank you. Uh, they'll watch community and be like, <laughs> Hey dad, we really liked that episode, except for your acting. It was terrible. And I'm like, okay, great. And then they'll, they'll, I, you know how, like, I'll just be like, hey, guys, dinner's ready. And then my kids will go, oh, okay, dad. Yeah. And I'll be like, <laughs> what are they? Or I don't, you might experience this. They'll be in their bedroom, like playing a video game or on a chat call, or I don't know what they're doing, but I'll come in and they'll just go, what? And I'll be like, what the, what do you mean, what? I, this is my house. I paid for it. Olive always pulls that, this is my house. I'm like, I don't think so, because I don't remember seeing your name on the last payment. She's eight, almost nine, going on like 15. It's insane. Yeah. I have full-blown teenage problems with her. I have, like, my 16-year-old would be like, hey, Dad, when do you think you'll be relevant again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What's happening? Joel! Olive was mad at me the other night and her sister was like, no, but our mom is like great. And she goes, she's just some entertainer. Oh, yeah, that's, that's when you should go into the gladiator speech and be like, am I here? Are you entertained? Uh, that <laughs> is, yeah, I will sometimes just turn off the lights and go, oh, look who pays for that, me. And then I'll come back <laughs> again and I'll be like, you're warned, you've been warned. It's just when they start driving cars, I don't know what's gonna happen. I, 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 I feel I fear for the city of Los Angeles. I know. I can't believe anyone let me have a driver's license at 16. I'm sad to say I got taken away from me right away. Like I didn't last a year before I got that <laughs> thing revoked. <laughs> uh, my, I, what did you do? Several moving violations, like within the yeah. first year. And they just wiped it away and it was gone for like a year or two. And I went from feeling so cool in my Jeep to right back to, can I get a ride? That, yeah. I, so my brothers, one is 21 months younger and the other one is 26 months older. So we were dry, it was like, uh, you know, 15 with a permit, 17 driving and 19. We totaled four cars, <laughs> two and a half years. And my dad was like, I'm gonna have a tick. I'm gonna have a tremor because of you guys. Yeah. And we were pushing cars off the side of the road that we accidentally ran into stuff. And I, I don't know how we survived. That's, I think that's the point of, I was told they're like, oh, you have a boy? Your job is to keep them alive until they leave the house because they will find a way to just jump stuff and jump off railings and uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm I have a tick now. Well, you know, I love that, you know, you and your wife have been together for 25 years. Is that right? Uh we will be married 25 years in July. Oh my and we were uh, so 27 years together. And I don't know why, Drew, but she has agreed to be with me for all these years. Uh, she has tolerated so much. Uh, she is, she's, you know, she does the classic, like, yes, I have, I have two boys and an infant, and the infant's name is Joel. Uh, so I'm very, very lucky. And uh, yeah, I, I, I hope we, I hope we can be together for another 27. Gosh, I just love that you guys have been together 27 years and want to be together another 27. Any tips for a good marriage? Uh, well, uh, she doesn't, she laughs at about 5% of my jokes. <laughs> which, 
constant, like me trying to get her to laugh. So if I tell her a joke, she'll go, oh yeah, A material there, Joel. <laughs> and, uh, so you're I'll getting it from all ends. And I'll be like, I'm a professional. Uh, I would say the best advice I ever got for uh, a happy marriage is happy wife, happy life. And uh, if she's happy, I'm happy, everyone's happy. Listen, humor doesn't hurt. And you have a new movie, which ironically is called Happily, um, about a married couple, but it's so apparently crazy and intense and delectable. We couldn't show a clip. What is up with that? Uh, yeah, this movie is about a, a couple that it has been married for 14 years and they are very amorous. Uh, they, uh, they still are as frisky as they were when they got married and all their friends hate them for it. So, and then it gets pretty crazy. So it's like a, it's like an episode of the Twilight Zone with just a lot of, a lot of sex. Well, I'm uh, really glad that you brought it with this movie and I'm so excited and it just seems so delicious and so fun. And listen, we could all use a little, you know, inspo to keep it frisky and fun. So I just love the tone of this movie well, that you're putting out there. I think it's gonna be very well embraced. And I do feel like if someone said, you can watch this movie about a couple having problems or you can watch this couple like, get it on and have a blast with a fun twist at the end, there's no question which one I'm picking. I'm picking the good couple every single time. That was a lot of what Victor wanted with Santa Clarita Diet. He said, I don't wanna watch this couple fight. I'm not interested in that. People have to do that you know, in life. Let's look at a couple that finds their way out of things and is successful and there's a lightness there. Uh, I will say on the Santa Clarita Diet uh, set and on Blended, like the crew adored you, which is a very good sign. Just so you know, folks, that when the crew doesn't like an actor, you you can feel it and it it's not a fun place. And when they do like an actor, it's a playground. So yeah. uh, that that is at the, I always go like at the end of you, people, you know, like they do work, they do stuff, but at the end of the, Day at the end of your life, you're like, you made a bunch of people happy for a lot of hours of their life. I'm like, congratulations, Drew Barrymore. Well, thank you, Joel McHale, for saying that. You did. And I'm going to turn it right back on you and say all the stuff you've put out into the world has been fun and wonderful.